butterflies. Hello, today's day number one of the 12 days of Knitmas. Welcome from Meadowsweet Farm Fiber Arts Design Studio. My name's Bonnie and today is December 13th and we are now on the official countdown to Christmas, Christmas Eve. So um, I just wanted to come on and say hello and hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody is not too rushed in this, uh, this crazy time of trying to get everything together. Um, I think our Christmas is gonna be pretty low key this year as I'm sure a lot of people are. So I just wanna share with you a few things that, um, <clears throat> that I'm working on as I get ready for, for Christmas and packing up all my gifts and doing all the, the things that you do for Christmas. Um, I'm sitting in a different place because right back there is my kumquat tree that I decorated for Christmas. And I'll show you some film footage um, as we go through the, the, the YouTube video. So. So I want you to sit back and enjoy the rest of the podcast. Um, what I have uh, up for today, I'm gonna share with you some natural dyeing that I've been doing. I can't share the recipe with you because I don't know the recipe. <laughs> this has really been <clears throat> a trial and error. And right now I have one skein is drying and the other skein is um, in the pot. So I will insert some pictures of those two things right in here. Uh with Mordens and um, I've used uh, cream of tartar and I used alum and I don't even know the quantities. I just am really at this point just seeing what works. I can tell you what I have in the dye pot. I have grape leaves that I picked from uh, Stephen's backyard, his grape barber. I have about four walnut hulls, black walnut hulls. I have some solution of grape, <laughs> that grape juice that came from Stephen's farm. Um, after we, um, I think what we did was we put the grapes through a juicer and any of the stuff that was left over, I just took that and filled up a jar of water with that. And I have saved some avocado pits and some liquid that I had from a previous dye solution. So there's some avocado stuff in there and there's coffee in there too, leftover coffee. So it's all mixed up in there. And what I was trying to get was like a, a mocha brown and then a rich dark brown. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to probably add some iron. And I believe you have to soak a couple rusty nails in a solution. I, it might just be water for a couple weeks, but I think I have some, some powder that I bought from a natural dye store. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with that next, but I'll show you what I have going on right now so you can see what's happening. But so there's natural dye. Um, and then the other thing is that today's first day is a oh, Christmas tree. And so I've got over 2000 pine trees here on the farm and they're just, you know, we planted them when they were just little seedlings. And if you drive down our street, you'll see that a lot of our neighbors uh, came and they dug up some of the pine trees and planted them on their farm. So this, 
uh, Nitmus is gonna, the first day is gonna be dedicated to the pine trees. And what I would like to do is um, I'm, I cut some branches off the trees and I'm gonna make a couple grapevine wreaths, or I'm gonna make some pine wreaths. And I also have some gorgeous, big, giant pine cones that I collected here on the farm over the years. And so I'm gonna see if I can use those as part of the design of the wreath. So stay tuned for that. And I hope everybody is enjoying their Sunday. It's a, a gloomy kind of Sunday. It's a little after five o'clock here today um, in southwestern Pennsylvania. And the temperature is probably in the low 40s. So I had to step out just very briefly and then I took Gabe for a walk and we cut all the, the branches off the trees this afternoon. So, um, but I did have um, a really wonderful time. I had a Zoom with Kate from The Last Homely House. I'm, uh, I belong to her Patreon and uh, all the Patreon subscribers um, she sent out a link and we got to talk with her and she got to see our faces and uh, it was really, really a lot of fun. And I got to meet some of the other Patreons that are part of the group. So it was really, uh, it was amazing. It was so much fun. So, um, and it was a small enough group. Um, basically what you did is when you joined the group, you could punch a button that says raise your hand so that you had a chance to kind of join in with the group. And uh, so I was a little reluctant to do it, but I did. And it was really, really fun. So I got to talk to Kate and she got to put, you know, I'm sure she, especially with the Patreon, she doesn't have a face with a name. So now she's really getting to know some of the people that subscribe to her channel. And, and I'm sure she was just thrilled. She just was beaming and just so radiant. So, um, so I just got off of that and it was really fun. So um, I wanna say uh, thank all of you for um, your lovely comments. If you're new here to my channel, please, if you like what I do, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And please, I would love, love, love to hear from all of you. Um, please give me a comment. Um, I also uh, wanna say hi to my mom, because <laughs> I know she's watching. And my sister, Barbara, I'm sure she's watching, or my brother, John. I don't know if he's watching or not. Um, so um, I'll do the Carol Burnett thing. If anybody remembers Carol Burnett, that she would she would do this. And that meant she was saying hi to some special people. So, um, and my daughter, Samantha, watches, and Jacqueline, and my friend, Kevin, and my friend, Debbie. So hello to everybody that's... Um, uh, part of my family so that now now since the cat's out of the bag and everybody knows that I do this so uh, but anyway come join me uh, enough enough waffling um, and I will take you on a, a reef making adventure so thank you all so much for joining for day one of uh, Nitmus bye for now okay here I am. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have a beautiful basket of the pine branches. And I have a beautiful bowl of pine cones. Snippers. Now, I got these wire wreath holder thingies, I don't know what you call them, wreath forms, that's what they're called. Um, I got these at Michael's, and I think they were like, I don't know, they were $3. The first time I went to Michael's last week, they had zero, they had none. And then when I went back, um, they had six, 
And I bought four. I didn't want to take all of them and be a glutton, so I, I bought four of them. So I'm going to put one on my front door and one on my back door, and I'll probably take one when I go to Stephen's house. I'll take one for him, and then I'll probably give one away as a gift. I'm not sure if I have enough. I've never done this before. <laughs> this is no way a tutorial. <laughs> this is just me. Um, I have these in my stash, and these are wires, and I was going to use these for making um, a woolen Christmas tree, and I still might do that if I have time. Okay, but this is what's going to hold the, um, the branches onto the form. Then I have some of this tape. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. And then I also have a pair of wire cutters. So, um, and I'm going to have to get those. Okay. So, <clears throat> oh, the other thing I have is this ribbon. I love this. Doesn't this look Scandinavian, like a Scandinavian woven design? I just love this. Gabe is upstairs. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but he's upstairs jumping around. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's. So here's the finished wreath and I added a bow and the pine cones and I think I might add a few more branches but overall I think it turned out pretty good.